Let's work with some examples of basic math concepts used in accounting. We will work with actual accounting examples. Some of the concepts may be new to you. Don't worry, you will cover these in detail as the semester progresses. For now, let's focus on the math concepts that apply to these accounting examples. Be sure to use a calculator as you view this module. Work out the examples. You can print the narrative from the Accounting Toolbox website before you view the remainder of this video. This may make it easier for you to work with the examples. Our first example focuses on a vertical analysis. Here is information from a course syllabus. A vertical analysis provides the relationship of the points for each grading element to the total points. This allows the user to work with the relative weights of each element. The total, 800 points, is always 100%. Divide the exam points, 450, by the total points, 800. This results in a decimal of 0.5625. Multiply that amount by 100 to convert it to a percentage. Continuing with the math, divide the 100 homework points by the total 800 and multiply by 100 to get a 12.5%. We make the same computation for attendance and for class activities. Always make sure that the percentages for the elements total 100. 56.25% for exams, plus 12.5% for homework, plus 6.25% for attendance, plus 25% for class activities, equals 100%. There may be a minor difference in some problems due to rounding. If rounding is an issue, always determine how many decimal places should be used. Rounding information should be available either in the problem or from your instructor. A horizontal analysis focuses on the percent of change from one period to another. The salary is changing from 40000 to 42500 We need to determine if the increase in salary has kept up with the 5% inflation rate. Start by subtracting the beginning amount from the ending amount to determine the amount of change. Divide the amount of change by the beginning amount. This results in a decimal. Multiply by 100 to convert the decimal to a percentage. The new salary is 42,500 and the current salary is 40,000. Thus the amount of change is 2,500. Divide the amount of change by the current salary of 40,000. Multiply by 100 and the answer is a 6.25% increase in salary. This 6.25% 6, 6 increase is more than the 5% inflation rate. Here is monthly salary information. We need to compute the take-home pay. Gross pay is $4,000. Federal income tax, FIT, is 10% of gross pay. Social Security is 6.2% of gross pay. And Medicare is 1.45% of gross pay. For each deduction, we multiply the percentage by the gross pay of $4,000. You can either use the percentage key on your calculator or convert the percentage into a decimal as used here. Notice the decimal for Social Security is 0 .062. The decimal for Medicare is 0 .0145. The take-home pay is determined by subtracting the FIT 400, the Social Security 248, the Medicare 58 from the gross pay of 4000, the take-home pay, the net pay is 3294. Let's work with an allocation problem. Two friends contribute to an investment. Friend A contributes 100000 friend B contributes 200000 Per the agreement, after two years, the friends will allocate the value, which is 500000 based on the original contributions. 
The total investment was 300000 We now need to determine the percentage invested by each friend. This can be work it, worked by using the fractions of one-third and two-thirds, or we can uh, take the 100000 invested by friend A divided by the total 300000 multiply by 100, and round this to be 33.33%. We do the same thing with the 200000 invested by friend B, and that rounds to be 66.67%. There is a rounding issue here. Now we need to allocate the 500,000 based on the percentages determined in step one. Friend A has one third point three 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 thirty three point three three percent. Multiply that by 500,000, and friend A is allocated one sixty six six fifty. We do the same thing for friend B, the 500,000 times the two-thirds, 0.6667, or 66.67%, round that to 333,350. The total does equal 500,000. Here is asset information for the beginning of the year 1231x1 and the end of the year 1231x2. Notice the amounts are shown in thousands. This means that the last three zeros have been omitted. This helps with the presentation of large dollar amounts. For the average, we are simply adding the beginning and ending amounts together and then dividing by two. Be sure to use the proper tools when working with math computations. Always have a, hand or, a, a calculator handy. If appropriate, use Excel. Whether you use Excel or pencil and paper, take time to show your work and use proper labels. This helps with finding errors, reviewing for exams, and getting partial credit for your work. Always review your answer to make sure it is reasonable. Practice is important. Seek help early. Your instructor, tutors, classmates, friends, and family are willing to work with you.